Hi, I wanted to show you all a simple setup. Um, I'll be doing little videos uh, for each of the major setups um, when we get into the instructions. I'll also have a printed instruction manual so you don't need to try to follow along with the video. But right now we're just going to take the basic setup board and a 120 turntable, put it down, then we're going to take a 100 gear and set that on so it meshes with the turntable. Uh, we just start with a, a 1 inch, slide it up underneath, hold your hand on it, put the bearings on, set, um, set the gear on, put a washer on, and just lock it down so that now it's free to turn around. Then we're going to put a drive screw on and here's the screw and if you rotate it at about 45 degrees, put the head in, slide it up underneath and screw it down. Now it's locked on and it can turn this guy around. We'll also need a fulcrum so we're going to take the a fulcrum screw, again slide it down, and we're going to put it around the right around where four is on the fulcrum slide. I'll take a piece of paper, just tape it down with four pieces of tape. You can use two pieces of tape. It doesn't take a lot of torque to drive it, so it's not going to slip around much. Either way. We're going to take our connect. Oh, we're going to put a stack of bearings on our drive shaft so to elevate the connecting rod so it doesn't hit anything. We're going to just slip this down over the fulcrum slide, and um, sometimes the pen may skip, so we have a little weight that we put over the the pen holder, and now we're ready. Uh, I don't know how long that's been, but here we go. Now, since that was a hundred and this turntable is a 120, the uh, lowest common multiplier is uh, gives us uh, 600, so it gives us six uh, variations. So it's a pretty simple pattern, but we can make it more complicated by taking the fulcrum slide. And where we were at 4 before, we're just going to slide it up to 5. And you'll see that even simple patterns, when you change the setup and make them repetitive, can do different stuff. Now we have another 6 that's happening just outside of the old 6. And again, if we take the fulcrum slide and slide it up to 6 now, on the table. We also could be changing our pen color at the same time if we wanted to. And there we go. Now, uh, one of the neat things is if we take the, the 100 gear and replace it with a 49, we'll get a nicer cycloid pattern because it will never repeat. So just change the setup by just taking the drive screw off, undoing this, taking the 100 gear off and replacing it with the 98. Put the washer back on. turning nicely. Again, set the screw at a 45 degree angle, slide up, raise it to vertical, and that will hold it on. Put the washers back on so it doesn't bump into anything. Now we can save paper uh, just by using 
the back side of it and also save some tape too. Now, since this is an irrational number, the the 100, the 98 gear, it will never end. Uh, so it's just going to keep spiraling in. I guess it'll end at some point, but the thickness of the pen will will be the limiting factor. And we're going to put the fulcrum back down to four, and we're just going to see what happens now with this. So we start doing our six, but it doesn't meet up with itself. You see it's going outside the lines. And this is a cycloid pattern. And kind of a pretty one too. So, that basically is how you can see a setup using one gear that rotates around and ends up with, at the same point, or using an irrational gear and ending up at a different point. I'll do another uh, video later to show you what happens when you take the fulcrum and turn it into a moving fulcrum point, because that makes some interesting combinations too. That's all. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.